In today's video, we're going to talk about something called the income statement. So the income statement is one of the four major financial statements and it's always found in a public firm's 10K report. Now, when we think about the income statement, we can think about it kind of, okay, it's this financial statement and, and companies have to file it, but it might be better to start with a more conceptual understanding uh, of what this really is. So an income statement is a summary of the results so a summary, by summary, we're going to have all these things kind of laundry listed uh, in this summary. And it's of a company's operations. And by operations, uh, we're talking about things like sales, uh, expenses, all, all these different things that, that happened uh, to the company financially during a, uh, during a period of time. Okay, so this could be, it could be a quarter. Uh, it could be a year. It could it could be a month. It, it doesn't matter. The key is that you're taking over some period of time and you're saying, okay, what happened to the operations? What happened to sales last year? This isn't like a running total of uh, just numbers over time that are continuously accumulating or decreasing like a balance sheet. Uh, this is something we're just taking saying, okay, let's look at this period. Let's drill down and let's see what were the sales last quarter, what were the expenses, Let, let's dig into that. So it's a summary of the operations over a period of time. So let's dig down and let's look at a basic uh, income statement. Now this is something that's really simple, but I think it'll be in instructive. So you know, typically, it, it's obviously it's titled an income statement and then the name of the company. But here, here's the key, for that period, we have to know, okay, well, income statement for when? Well, it's for a quarter, okay? It doesn't have anything that happened in the quarter before that, the quarter, that, that's not relevant. What matters here is this quarter that ended June 30th, 2015. So it began uh, March 30th or March 31st, and now it's ending here. So it's three months. We wanna say, okay, let's let's dig in and let's look at what were the what was the revenue for, for this company? What was the, the expenses uh, for this company during that quarter? So, uh, when we look at this, now I've just got a basic basic thing here, uh, but I think it can be instructive. So we look at, like you've got things like sales. So the company's just the main operations, the sales of their product or, or their service. But in terms of revenue, you can have more than just, just sales. You can have things like interest revenue. There, there's different forms of, of revenue that the firm can have. And, and here I've just got a couple examples. Obviously the main one is, is almost always gonna be, it's gonna be the sales figure, but there's other types of revenue too. And, and remember that the income statement is a summary of all those things. So all of that is gonna be kind of laundry listed in this, in this income statement. And so when we look at it, we've got the sales, we've got the interest revenue. So we've got all these different types of revenue that the, the firm had during that quarter. Uh, but we're also going to have a summary of the expenses. So now we've got things like cost of goods sold, which is the cost, of, as, assuming we're selling a product, uh, the cost that it was to buy that product. So if we have a toy store, we buy toys from some kind of uh, manufacturer and, and then we resell those toys, the cost of goods sold is the cost that it is to buy those toys to begin with. So then we've got things like uh, selling general and administrative expense, which is normally abbreviated as SG and A. So when we think of selling expense, there are all kinds of things. There's commissions that we might pay to sales agents. Uh, so we might have you know commissions. Um, there might be some shipping costs, the freight costs. When we ship items to somebody, maybe we decide to cover that cost. Those are all selling costs. When we think of like general and administrative, now we're thinking of like people's salaries and stuff. We have to pay a CEO. We have to pay our employees. So these, these different salaries come down to the administrative expense. And sometimes these might be broken out and you have like selling expense as a separate item and then G&A as, as another item. And then we've got things like, for example, interest expense. So we borrowed money to start this company and, and this we've got this interest expense from, from bonds or, or a loan or something like that. And you might even have some companies that, that go ahead and they take this interest here, the interest revenue, and they net it with the interest expense and then it's just say net. Uh, interest costs. So, so there's a lot of different ways to do it. The main idea is that we've got a summary here for this quarter. We've got a summary and what we're trying to do is say, okay, all the different types of revenue, 
all the different types of expenses that this firm had for this quarter. Let's summarize them and let's come up with a final number which we're going to call net income, which in this case we're going to take this 100 plus 3 that's 103 and then subtract out all these expenses and I'm going to I'm going to put them in parentheses. Sometimes things are put in parentheses it means you subtract these things. So we're going to subtract all this and we're going to end up with a net income of 42. Now, net income could also be called you can call it profit is one way to think about it. Uh, but be, you know, I don't, I don't typically say profit because when you think of profit there's a lot of different types of profit. Someone might say okay, well revenue uh, you know, minus cost of goods sold. When we take sales minus cost of goods sold, we come out with gross profit or there's operating profit. There's all these different kinds of profit. But when we think net income, net income now, now we're talking about the bottom line. So net income is the ultimate summary figure of what happened to this firm during this particular period of time, the quarter ended June 30th, 2015. So the income statement kind of culminates with the statement of what happened to the income or it could be a loss if this is negative so what is the the income or loss for this quarter for this firm